deal. I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast efficiently and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. Hi guys, it's under. So in today's video, we're gonna look at how you can make your Logic Pro projects smaller. This really applies to when you're at the end of a track, like you can see this track here has got what, 72 channels going, there's loads of audio recorded, there's samples I brought in and not used, etc., etc. To store that, it's gonna be this huge file, but what we can do, we can really reduce that down. There's a couple of ways inside Logic that we can do that. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of those. So you can just reduce those file sizes. So first one, if we just tap F on our keyboard, it's gonna bring up this little guy here. Uh, and if we just switch it over to Project, here we can see all of the like samples, all the different cuts of the samples, everything that's in the track, where it's laid out and used, etc. And that we can filter some of the stuff out in here that we've maybe not used or that we edited and then decided to discard in the track. So to do that, we can go on edit and select unused and that's going to highlight anything that we've got in here but we haven't used as you would imagine that feature would do. Uh, and then, you know, very simply, we can just delete those away. Boom they are now gone for us. So when we resave the project, it will remove those out of the files. Now another way we can do it is inside our menu up here, we've got a file down to project management. We've actually got clean up and consolidate, two really useful ones. So if we're going to clean up, this would do that delete unused files, which is what we just did manually for us. We can also delete our backups. Now, personally, I don't recommend doing this one until you're maybe having to send the project away and you know that, hey, that's it. You know, this is one copy of it. We're going to have in multiple places. Tend to keep the backups personally until then. And then we've got delete media browser files. And yeah, essentially other stuff that's linked that's been optimized for logic that we're maybe not using. It will get rid of those for us as well. And then the other one, just in project management, console Consolidate. What Consolidate lets us do is it brings everything that's essential to this project into one folder. So we haven't got things on multiple drives. Now, this could potentially give us a larger file However, it's going to put everything in one location in a nice compressed logic file rather than having it spread across multiple drives. It's much better for backups. So if we do all those previous steps where we're going to clear everything away and then we consolidate everything, then run through that process again, we're going to have a nice, highly optimized, compressed down logic file. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. That'll give you a nice, hopefully better way to manage your files, especially if you're looking to share them and you're working across multiple projects. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.